Remember, there's no such thing as a small act of kindness. Every act creates a ripple with no logical end. Hi guys, it's Blaze. Welcome back to the fuckery that is my life. Wow, I haven't done an intro in forever where I didn't go, Hi guys, welcome back to the fuckery that is my life. <laughs> so that's really exciting. It's growth, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Either this is growth or regressing back to the olden days with my YouTube channel, like back to like 2017, 2018-ish. Where I used to tell these story times and just be a complete under bitch. And it's like, I think it's time for a ranty, bitchy ass story time video. Now you could consider my last story time a bitchy, ranty story time, but no. This one takes the cake, I believe, in my opinion. And before I get into story time, I want to just say a couple things real quick. I say this every video, I think. But I will be sending the person, like this teacher or whatever, this video because I need him to realize what he is doing is not okay. Before I made the story time video, I did a little bit of research on social media. I know he's active and he has young children and he's still a teacher. So he needs to know that this is not okay, even if I was a one-off person where he treated me and he didn't realize he was treating me awfully. He still needs to know that this is not okay. I do wish him well, but I'll get into this in a little bit more in the story time about the lesson he needs to learn here. So if you are watching this teacher, please, listen to what I have to say. And yes, I know I'm cursing now. I'm 21 years old, you know me. Since I was 13 to 15. So I know this is a lot different. I'm a little, I'm more confident with myself and I would say this to your face if you were here. I don't care. I'm not trying to fight you or anything like that. I'm not trying to argue. I'm just here to like educate you on why this is not okay. Especially since you have young children and you're still a teacher. And yes, for the purposes of the video, I will be cursing because I curse a lot now. When he knew me, I was not a vulgar person. I didn't really speak out of line. I barely even spoke when spoken to. I was a meek motherfucking child. Like, if a teacher even, like, talked to me and scolded me, I would just be like, uh, I, 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 I okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, or whatever. Like, now I just be like, I did this, this, and that. I don't care how you feel. I'm doing this. <laughs> like... 21 year old me is like so much more like it's like two opposites like polar opposite people and that's why i call growth here i broke out of my shell i was not i was in my shell and he made it worse i hated school to begin with but he made it worse for me but anyways let's get into the story time starting now okay <laughs> So I had this teacher in eighth grade and the ninth grade. Now he was new teaching at the school in eighth grade and he was the kindest teacher ever towards me in that year. Like I know that sounds kind of productive, but let me just, just wait. He was a fun teacher. Like I'll give him credit where credit's due. He was a fun teacher. He was the type of teacher to basically rather do like hands-on projects rather than read the textbook, which I appreciated so much because I'm the type of learner to where I learn better by like delving into something or listening to a teacher tell me like what to do and like how to do it, whatever. So I just learn better that way. I don't learn as good just reading a textbook. So I appreciated him so much for that. But because my motivation for school was very, very low, like it was always low because I hated hated school school was absolutely one of the worst things i hated like one of the most things i absolutely hated in life like i rather just sit at home and watch spongebob all day but obviously i can't do that because that's against the law so i had to go to school and i was the type of student to where i know this is wrong i should like i regret doing it now that i'm 21 but i would just not do my work i just had zero motivation for school and when i did my work it was really good grades like i knew what i was doing i was just bored with the material his hands-on projects helped me so much with learning but when i did the work like i obviously showed i knew what i was talking about but teachers often doubted my smartness because i just didn't do the work i was lazy now obviously i shot myself in the leg with being lazy and i regret doing that obviously wish i wasn't so lazy but it is what it is it's in the past now and obviously if i was to go back to school i wouldn't be as lazy i lived and i learned now he obviously had like a t like we had a tit or tat tit for tat type of like relationship like student teacher relationship where he would obviously get mad at me for not doing my work i mean rightfully so i'm not gonna get mad at that because should have done my fucking work but <laughs> This is the same teacher I made a story time video about like three years ago titled like I shit on his floor. Shit and piss on his floor. Obviously that's clickbait. I didn't actually shit and piss on his floor, but he told me I can't use the bathroom and he publicly embarrassed me. And for the entire class, even though I have a medical condition that forced me to need to use the bathroom when I need to go. Because I don't have a colon and I have a genetic disorder or whatever. And he knew that. 
but he obviously says, still said no, acting like if I was trying to get out of class. And I don't fuck with that shit. It's like, I have a medical condition. You could literally get sued for like, fucking, what's the word? <laughs> I read the word for it. Um, and obviously my story time video about that, you can watch it, whatever, it's on my channel. And it's just like, dude. He obviously yelled at me for like using the bath, like for wanting to use the bathroom. He thought I was fucking lazy and just didn't want to be in class, which I probably do. I liked class. If you were watching it, I actually th um, thoroughly enjoyed your class. He was a science teacher. I'm not naming his name, obviously. I don't remember if I named him in the story time video, like an alias or anything like that. I obviously didn't say his name because I always give al aliases. I don't remember what I gave him, so we're just gonna like, refer to him as like teacher or like him. But like he was obviously a fun teacher. I loved his class. Like, he was generally fun. I just didn't like school. I had zero motivation. Also, to give you more context of why my motivation was so low, it was because like I was just so bored with school. School was just so boring, in my opinion. And then also around that time period, like three years prior, my dad got diagnosed with a liver disease, a terminal illness hi guys editing me here to clarify something real quick and to add on to the story time since i forgot it so i went to the razor school this is one of my teachers from there obviously and they would often ask for a prayer request he wasn't one of those teachers but i'm pretty sure most teachers talk to each other and like told the other teachers like what was going on and every class period was like they would ask for like a prayer request i would always say my dad or something that's going on in my life i remember when he first got diagnosed in my seventh grade year it was a huge thing that like teachers would come up to me and be like so your teacher like your dad's diagnosed with this this and that kind of thing like how are you feeling and stuff like that so a lot of teachers like understood and like understand it's like a stressor on me obviously i didn't get accommodations i don't want that but i'm pretty sure he was well aware of that and if he wasn't then disregard this entire point because i can't blame him for something he doesn't know but pretty sure he did know and like my whole entire point with bringing my dad up is just the simple fact that like it's hard to deal with that when you're not in school but when you're in school especially it's hard especially since like, you have no motivation to begin with and then that will like obviously ruin your motivation even further he my dad passed away when i was 19 um from that terminal illness and it's like like i said i don't i'm not expect, like i wasn't expecting any accommodations like i didn't really want many people to know to begin with because it was just a, such a dark thing in my life and it's just like i don't like to talk about other people like medic like just other people's shit you know like i talked about it when it was weighing on me the absolute most because it was really hard to deal with watching your father slowly progress and then like just die like you watching like, your family member die very very slowly is very very hard and i want to like touch on that later on but this is not the video for that this is not a video to like talk about my trauma with like viewing someone you love just die very very slowly and then like i'm actually dying and stuff like that this isn't that type of video don't want it to be that but wanted to clarify and like add on to the story time a little bit that like he probably was well aware that like that was going on in my life because i'm pretty sure my teacher talked about it it was like a drama type shit i swear to god with my teachers because like i didn't tell some teachers and some of those teachers that i didn't tell would come up to me and be like oh like i heard about your dad i'm so sorry so like i'm pretty sure every teacher knew yeah that's it <laughs> back to the story time i guess so like the fact that like i had to deal with that as like a young child like he got diagnosed when i was 12 and he knew me when i was 13 turning 14 then 14 turning 15 like he that's a lot to deal with when you're a young child like you're young well i don't i don't i'm a child obviously like there but like i don't really know if that's like a young child you got my point though like i was a like, young teenager like i just turned a teenager like i don't even know how to fucking do taxes at that point i don't know how to work a job i don't know much i'm learning in school and i'm learning through life and yet i'm just getting way too frustrated throughout the story time hold on so anyways i forgot where, where my tangent was going but Going into ninth grade year, I still didn't do my work. He should be angry at that. I get it. It's frustrating knowing your students aren't doing your work. And he wants to see me do better, like, do better and grow and stuff like that. I get it. Because he was, he was a fun teacher. Like, he was always, like, such a motivational speaker. Like, he would, like, speak so good. Like, he would captivate the entire room so fast. with just the way he's a motivational speaker. Like, if he wasn't for teaching, he should be a motivational speaker. And this is me, like, blowing smoke up his ass. I swear to God. Like, he was a good teacher. Good person up until the shit that i'm about to say so i remember the first time that like really stood like he just had like a really discourse towards me was on my report card the first like report card or whatever of that year because you get four report cards in the year i don't know if like any other countries or whatever does that but in the school we got four report cards in a year each one each quarter and the first report card he wrote on the little note was i don't see growth with blaze at all between last year and this year he did not see growth with me between the, that year in the year prior sir i was a child and then the next like 
instance that like really showed like discourse towards me was the fact that like i just continuously wanted to do my work because like it was just killing my motivation even further with the fact that he was just being constantly like rude to me i don't know what like why he targeted me specifically i know it's different with like how he was treating me and other students like did you notice those things and i remember one time i just was struggling and i asked him for help <laughs> Are you guys ready for this one? I was struggling so hard to where I, I was just not understanding a single thing he was telling me. I just couldn't comprehend the lesson. I forget what it was exactly. This was like six years ago. Eventually he just like fucking got frustrated and just said, I don't care if you need help, just get it out of my face kind of thing. Like he he didn't say that exactly, but he just but he literally said that he does not care. And I was like, okay, um, goodbye. And then I just like walk out of the room because it's like, how do I respond to that? Also, I wrote this man cookies. Like I made homemade cookies for all my teachers. Do you get a thank you from him? But my other teachers gave me notes or walked up to me and said thank you for the cookies and like asked me like about my life and shit like that. Not a single thank you. Now I don't need like a thank you or just anything, but like I had eight teachers. Seven of them said thank you. One of them didn't. And that one teacher was the teacher I'm talking about. And it's like that obviously shows that he doesn't like me. I did it during Christmas time and I literally wrote like a like a whole like thank you note. Like a thank you for so much for being my teacher, like you're appreciated kind of thing. Another word. Why is it that like I already had a suspicion that he didn't like me, but then he didn't thank me? That just further proves how much he didn't like me. Hi guys, editing me here. I recognize that it's very, very petty to like bring up because like it's such a like minute thing compared to like the rest of the things, but like honestly, I don't care. It adds up. He was really rude to me. Petty Blues is back, so, yeah. Also, I'm eating dinner, too, now with potato chips. And I remember I would just, like, continuously struggle, and he would just call me out into class or whatever, and I even, like, literally asked him, like, hey, can I use the bathroom again, ninth grade year? Call me out again, and then I, like, stood up to him one time after class, and I was like, hey, like, I really don't appreciate you calling me out in class or whatever. It's not fun. It's really embarrassing for me. Like, can you please just chill out? And he just goes, no, you need to be embarrassed in public for you to learn to do better. Today, he was hosting like tutoring. I think it was like every like Thursday he would do tutoring. And I would usually go every other week or some shit like that or just when I needed it. I didn't really go every single week because I didn't really need it every single week, but he thought I did obviously because I just didn't do my work. Now this is the last time I ever went to one of his tutoring sessions because like it just like really put a bad fucking taste in my mouth. And I remember one day I was having a really, really long day that one week. I think this is like right after Christmas break. So we're freshly new into the second semester. And I have a really long day and tutoring is literally the last thing of the day. His class was like like one of the first things in the morning. Like I think like second period. And I remember I had a long, okay, I keep saying this. I had the longest fucking day. I said that already like three million times throughout this like, entire sentence. And I'm just tired. I really just want to go home. I am not feeling it, but I just had a really longest day. I keep fucking saying that. And I just really, really want to go fucking home. And it was just like so, draining to me to even like go to the tutoring session because like it's just like like i said a long fucking day <laughs> and i get there and it's like me and two other people wanting tutoring sessions not going to name the two other people because that's kind of irrelevant to the story but he was like okay guys pull out your notebooks and i can tell he had a long day too so maybe like it was just like a bad day for him as well but i was like oh yeah like sorry mister i forgot my notebook and he just like full on just snaps on me so fast like, he was literally like let me reenact this real quick um hi mister excuse me um i forgot my notebook i'm very very sorry can i please go please how are you gonna come to tutoring and forget your notebook go get it you have three minutes or otherwise i'm gonna kick you out of the tutoring session <laughs> like i'm sorry what so not only did he call me out publicly shaming, told me he doesn't care. Not only has he told me he doesn't care that I need help, not because I was struggling, not only those things. And then the report card said, he also told me that I had three minutes to get my notebook. My locker was literally right outside his classroom. It literally took me like two seconds to get my notebook and come right back. Literally right outside his motherfucking door. You come out his door, turn left, and it's like two lockers down. Are you good, bro? <laughs> why, why was that such like a ordeal then i remember after tutoring he would also walk us out to the car loop where we would get picked up and he just visibly wasn't having it with me or just in general like you can just tell like the demeanor change between the two other people and then myself was just so different like he treated me like garbage y'all like i'm telling you like he was just the rudest towards me and i don't understand why i was so motherfucking kind to him i was kind to everybody in that school i kept to myself and stayed in my lane so i don't know what the problem was and like even that earlier that year he said because like, like we were this was at the religious school i don't know if i ever said that in this video yet but 
obviously at that class you have to, like in that school you have to wear uniforms and he said like straight up that he is glad that there's uniforms because then he wouldn't like so consciously like treat us all differently because of the way we clothe like the way our clothing are like he had this whole entire pep talk being like i'm so happy about this because if like it wasn't for like so and so like let's call them andy there's no andy in that school or in that class that year andy has really like, sent his clothes but so and so maybe let's call her jasmine because there wasn't a jasmine in that class at all or like in my grade or whatever i'm just making random names by the way this is natural students if so if there's anyone named like andy or jasmine i generally don't remember them at this moment but not talking about that <laughs> jasmine may have clothing that is lesser than that like maybe like a little bit holy shirts like a little bit raggedy whatever no shame in that obviously because i have shirts that are hold up because i can't afford like gucci or like fucking target clothes like I, that shit's expensive i shop at walmart and he was basically saying that he's happy about that because then he can subconsciously treat jasmine differently than andy because now they're dressing both the same and you can't tell their their money income and stuff like that but he couldn't keep that same standard for me when I was just obviously unmotivated. So to this teacher, if you're watching this, what's good? <laughs> I'm cracking up because like I'm editing this right now and all I can think is that one line from Down in the DMs remix where Nicki Minaj is like, I said my Lee was good. I said, can you pay him my bills? Like, oh, my Lee was good. I just sit back and observe. That's what that part reminded me of. And like, honestly iconic. <laughs> but yeah, that's to like take away from the story time. Like, it's like, what's good teacher like are you good were you just pressed like what what was up obviously this is very very petty of me to like take this to youtube and like obviously posting about it i didn't i honestly forgot about this all until the other day but i want to talk about this real quick when you were 13 like 15 that's obviously one of the most like developmental er like, years of your life so things like that affect you teachers have more of an impact than like they think he was a science teacher and i adored science so much i didn't really like any other classes besides english i thought dude this teacher destroyed my love for science killed my motivation for it killed my motivation for school just indefinitely not going back to school makes me cringe and teacher if you are watching this right now because i know i sent you the link please do not do that please do better i see that you're still a teacher on social media please do better do not treat your students like this this has long-term effects i have no motivation for school now and that will forever stick with me because honestly, like you were so fucking rude to me and I do not appreciate that. And I honestly really would wish that you like apologize or some shit like that because like you don't fully develop until you're 25. Obviously if this teacher like was like here in front of me like now, like if he was teaching me now, I would have a different story time because honestly, I would probably would have like argued back with him. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I am 21 years old now. I'm not the same 13 to 15 year old that you taught. I have balls now. <laughs> like I have the balls to stand up to you. So if you're watching this, do fucking better. That is the most developmental areas of their life. Like you don't fully develop your brain until you're 25 and you should know that as a science teacher. So this honestly has long-term effects. Do better, please. Not for my sake, but for your sake. And if it has, even if like you do treat your students now or like any other students like way better or like it was just like a one-off thing was just me because you just didn't like me for whatever motherfucking reason besides the fact that i didn't do my work this would be still a story time to this day because honestly that shit affects me and it's just my story my life my truth and stuff like that so i'm gonna share and honestly you should know that that's not okay and you need to do better not if not for me for other people then because i haven't talked to you since I, since you left the school he is in a whole nother country now he's not even in the same country or state or whatever i'm in a whole different state now I'm only in California now. And I'm happiest motherfucking shit living my best motherfucking life. If any other teachers are watching this, please do better. If you are, if you get angry easier, please just do better. Treat your students like equals. They are young adults, soon to be the future. Like my generation, like Gen Z, like the older Gen Z is the future. We are now the people voting for the president and stuff like that. Do better because you're raising this country little by little or your country or whatever like country you live in. You're raising the country because they are going to be the next people to build and like change everything. And if you have the wrong impact on them, that could be bad. So teachers, people that deal with children in general, be nice to them. I know it gets easy to get angry at children and teens but they're still young developing people and if you know me and like you follow me on tiktok and stuff like that you would know i have a huge issue with adults being so rude to adults because like, it's just weird to be rude to children and i'll answer one of my tiktoks here talking about charlie d'amelio and adults like attacking her and stuff like that back in like november i think charlie d'amelio sucks and i'm glad that everyone is seeing her for who she is 
I'm so genuinely tired of these grown-ass adults making videos about Charlie D'Amelio. Like, you are contributing to the bullying, the hate, the harassment that she's getting, the death threats. Like, y'all fucking suck. She is literally a child. Y'all need to do better. I just find it so weird when adults are just so rude to children. Like, I get it. You're frustrated. We all have bad days. I'm not knocking him down for having bad days. But why is it that he always targeted me on his bad days? Or just targeted me in general? Like, but not everyone else. He may have targeted other people in different grades and classes and stuff like that. But why me specifically? Because there were literally students in my class that were like the class clowns or like the troublemakers. But yet, he was fine and buddy-buddy with them. But me being someone that didn't do his work, I, I wasn't fine. But those who were integrated to class and like was joking around and being not the best people were fine and buddy-buddy with him. Make it make sense. I honestly had no problem with any other teachers. He was the only, I didn't even have a problem with him. He was just had a problem with me and I don't understand. Like I never had a problem with him. I actually liked his class. I appreciated the fact that he was such a hands-on teacher. I don't know, it just kind of sucks because like, like I said, I enjoyed his class. It just frustrates me how he was like nasty towards me. And, I, and like, I don't know. Teachers do better. Anyways, that is all for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for actually watching this video, first of all, because, like, this is honestly such like, a ranty-ass video, and I feel so motherfucking bitchy, and, like, I feel like Petty Blaze is back. It's so weird I haven't had Petty Blaze back in, like, since 2017. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And, yeah, follow all my social medias, link will be down below, and at the end of this video, no, no, it won't. No, it won't. It won't be at the end of this video. I've, I wish I was saying that, but now it won't be at the end of my video. It hasn't been like that in months. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye, I love you guys so, so much.